guys, it's Rob and back at one more again. If this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you. Namaste and love and blessings. And thank you for the support and coming to see what I'm all about. Please hit the like and subscribe button and the notification button so you'll know when I'll be able to upload my next video. And if you are returning with us, Thank you for the support and love and blessings to you, uh, fam. And thank you for the support. And namaste. Tonight, today, I am listening to my dad's song, Fall in Love, with Zoe. I forgot her last night. It was on the, the show, this girl. I love that that video clip when you just see them. And he's like, hey, you know, this is Prince. He's like, oh, you may freak out now. He's just like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, he just started screaming, but it was really cute. But anyways, my video today is about Prince Flame 101. Love the skin that you're in. Guys, you are beautiful in all shapes, colors, sizes. We're just all beautiful. And we need to learn how to accept ourselves. Like I was saying in my other video, there are so many people that they feel like they're ugly. Or they feel like they're a loser. Or they're stupid and stuff like that. Trust me, you are none of these things. Even though my, people might have instilled this into you to make you believe that. But no, you never are. You just have to see it for yourself that you're not. And it's just, it took so much time for me to have to fill that out. And it's just people like, you are just so pretty though. Why would you think that about yourself? And it's just like, you don't understand of the upbringing that I used to have. And it's just the people that I used to throw around myself from. And I had some good friends, you know. And I don't think I was always surrounded by, you know, bad people. I wasn't. But... It was just the fact is I used to always put myself in predicaments that I really shouldn't have. And it's just like now people it's just like that know me and know now I understand why you did the things you did and I used to always lash out for attention. And so it, it's just the fact is I always had to I, I had to grow to love myself. Don't put myself in predicaments trying to find love all all in the wrong places. And it was, that's what I was doing because I lacked that father to show me what real love was supposed to be about. So I had to learn on my own. And it was just like, and I had a mom, you know, even though she, you know, we had an abusive relationship and it was more emotional and physical. But she did what she had to do and I know it was, that was the love that she only knew. So it was just the fact that she's taught me so much even though it, it was like hard on both of us because what she went through with my dad also with what I went through so it was just like one thing after another but I had to learn to love myself and it was just some people who sit up here and tell me oh girl you know I would trade places with you in a heartbeat I would never wish that on anybody I was just like you know even though my father is who my father is it was just like would you be able to walk like two steps in my shoes if you really had to experience this? You know, knowing everything that I've been through. And it's just some people, they just see the better part of things and not seeing the worst part. And it was just like, you have to deal with both. You can't take the bitter without the sweet. You know, everything has a balance to it. And it's just the fact is, it's just like so many of us, we battle with depression, bipolar, uh schizophrenia it's just all these different things that, that we have been known to be labeled as and it's just things that have triggered or scarred us or it could be genetic you know it, it's just so many tests have been ran on us for so many years to try to figure out how do we have these mental illnesses and it was just like um, I know I have OCD um, I'm, I'm battling out of my depression because I really, you know, I have my moments because if I do, I try not to project it on you guys because I will not make a video because there's some, sometimes, I'll tell you, like there's times I can make videos like back to back to back and there's sometimes I can make two or three videos in one day and there's sometimes you won't hear from me for a week. It just depends on the mood I'm in. It's just like, you know, I'll, you know, I'll tell you guys, I always make, try to make motivational videos and just send out positive things. But there's days that I, I, you know, it's not sunny. It's not sunshine and roses and all that butterflies and junk. So it's just like today I still feel so full of life and love that I wanted to spread it out to you guys because it's just like you are love. 
you know, even though you might not feel it right now, you are loved. You, you might not see it right now, but you are loved. There's always somebody out there praying for you. And we might not be able to see that, but you have to be able to believe it in yourself. It's just like, you know, I watch The Voice and stuff like that. And it's just like sometimes I can walk in the room and I have something on my mind. And right at that exact moment, I, I could watch The Voice, you know, come on. And then this one girl, she was crying and saying, I can't do this and I can't do that. And then one of the judges is just like, if you don't have this belief in yourself, how can we believe you? We can't have, we can't believe this, we can't believe in this for you. You have to do that for yourself. And that's why I was just like, wow, and this is tears coming out of my eyes. And it's just like, I believe in myself. You have to look in the mirror and say, I matter. I'm beautiful or I'm handsome. You know, I, you know, I'm adored. I matter, you know, I matter to the world. I'm going to make my footprint in the world. I'm going to make my imprint on the world. And it's just, it, it's just like there's so many people who are out there and they're so down and out by themselves. And you might have been taught that, you know, you, you're not going to amount to much or, you, oh, you can't do this. And like I told you, if anybody does not see the beauty in you and the dreams and support you, those are not the people that you need to be around. It's just like I see so many times on my Facebook page on different pages where I see somebody have said that they lost their partner or this the loved one. And like I said, I'm happy single I'm happily single and I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Does I rather be by myself than be in a predicament where I'm miserable. I'm with somebody that I can't talk to, I can't trust. And that's fine. You know, I was supposed to be married last year and it was just like came to be a blessing that I wasn't. And it, it was like, even though it ended not on a good note, it was just a blessing to me that everything came out the way it did and, and it showed me things that I didn't think I was capable of seeing. I was fine with that. I was just fine with it. And it was just like, then I had somebody come into my life and they awakened things that, that um, I didn't even know was there. And I appreciated them for everything they've done. And it was just like right now, we, we didn't even get on bad terms or anything like that. We just, you know, we stopped talking. And it was okay. You know, I'm fine. You know, they know how I feel. And they know, you know, I know how they feel and stuff like that. But we were fine on things that, because we we're both trying to heal ourselves. So I'm good on that. And it was just like, you know, Things happen for a reason. People come into your life for a reason. And if they just can't see the beauty in you that you have in yourself, they don't need to be there. And then I had to, you know, why is this person not here? Why is this, you know, why does this person treat me like this? And it's just like, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to love yourself to know it's time to walk away. If it's meant to happen, trust me, the universe will make sure it happens. And just like if it's not meant to be, the universe will make sure that you see everything you need to instill in yourself to make sure, you know what, this person doesn't need to be in my life. Or that person doesn't need to be in my life. Or, and you know you see the signs right there. And some people say when, you know, when they break up, oh, i never seen the signs. Trust me, they were always there. You just didn't want to see them. Or you were in just a now about things. And it's just like, I see so many people right now that are, that are getting married or having these wedding anniversaries or doing stuff with their loved ones. And it's just like, you know, um, and I see this one where I'm, um, I'm subscribed to them with Donald and Christy and stuff like that. And I see how they do their relationship. And it's just so cute and beautiful and stuff like that. I'm like, Dad, you know, I want that one day. And, you know, they surprise each other and stuff like that. And I cry because it's just so sweet. And it's just like I'm not jealous of anything that they're doing. But I'm just so happy for them. And I'm just like, I want that one day. And I feel good for the people that have not around me. But I know right now it's just like I have to focus on myself. Even though I know there's somebody out there for me. And I would like that. It's just right now that's not what I need to be focused on right now. What I need to be focused on is how to get myself home. How to better myself. How to get through all the things that I'm getting through. Even though I'm getting through them, it takes, it takes trust me. It, it's been taking day by day. And it's just so many people tell me, you know, you're a miracle, you are strong, you have been through so much, and you are putting out these videos, and it, it hits home for me. And I'm so grateful when people can come back and tell me that, and it, it just brings tears to my eyes, and it's just like, 
this is what I want to do in life. You know, I want to make motivational videos to be able to tell people, you know, life is not over. You know, you can be 40, 50 years old. I'm 40 years old and my grandmother. And I, I think I look damn good to be a, a grandmother, okay? <laughs> I think I look really good. And it, it's just like, I've been through so much. And it's just, I can look back on my life and just like, you know what? You have been through so much hell. But look at all the positive stuff that you're doing right now. You're reaching out to people. People are coming to you. And they might not even know nothing about you. And it's just like, we'll talk. And they're just like, you know, you inspire me. And I mean, that really makes me feel good when people can say I inspire them. Or I make, you know, I do your affirmations, you guys. Please. I keep, I haven't talked about those in a minute. But please. I do my affirmations every day. It's just like sometimes if I feel like I'm in an icky mood, I won't do them because I do not want to project that out in my life while I'm looking in the mirror. I'm trying to tell myself stuff. But tell yourself you matter. You're important. Even though some people might around you that might not be able to feel that way, if you got some folks that's out there and this, they're not supporting you on your dreams and they're down to you and they're laughing at you, those are the folks you need to keep about your life. Because you don't need nobody that's not going to support you on anything that you, you know, if there's anything that you're projecting out into the world to make yourself a better person. If you feel like you want to make this billion dollar corporation and you need that friend that's just constantly laughing at you like, I really don't see you doing I really don't see it happen. Just because they don't have that that mindset that you do to make the plans to make this happen, don't mean it can't happen. It just might not happen for them. But don't have them in your life to have you downplay your dream like that. Anybody who can't support you on that, that's you'll need them in your life. That's why I'm just like uh, until I am comfortable and want to be with them. I want to be able to have a best friend that can support me on my dreams with me supporting them. They can be my therapist, my cheerleader. My support system, my best friend, my, you know, everything, my pastor or whatever. Until I get that, I'm fine. I'd rather be by myself. I'd rather be by myself than be around a bunch of people and still feel alone, okay? So, this is my video to y'all. I'm just like pushing out the love to you guys. Um, love yourself. Love the skin that you're in. It's just people try to tell me. Sometimes, I ain't trying to get full on this video, some people tell me, Roslyn, you know, the things that you see and the things you go through, I wish I can change places with you and stuff like that. I'm like, don't do that, don't do that, because I don't know if you'll be able to make it walking through my shoes like that. Can you actually say that you could make it through knowing that your family did this to you? Some people would have probably did that and probably would have tried to kill somebody. So I'm just like, don't compare your life to somebody else's. God has you on the path for you. Things are happening for you at the exact time when it's supposed to happen. And it happens for them. So don't get mad when you see somebody else get something and you haven't got it. You don't know how hard they worked on that. You don't know how long, how much blood, sweat, and tears they had to put into that to get it. So be grateful for the things that's going on. Just be careful and worry about your path. Focus on what you're doing. And things will get better for you. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wow. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Drop a comment if you feel the need to. And we will talk later. And remember, love the skin and share. Peace and be wow.